So good morning, good afternoon. Um, my name is Kristen Benedetto of Beneluxic, and I am here today sitting with uh, the designers and the brand behind Jonathan Hansen and Marie Dodge, the CL Blue Collection. So thank you both for being here. We have Jonathan Hansen from New York and Marie Dodge in Paris. Um, so for those of you oh. You might not know Jonathan and Marie. Um, I've been lucky enough to know Jonathan over the past couple of years and we worked closely together. Um, so Jonathan, do you want to tell us a little bit about your background? Sure, yes. Um, I've been designing product and furniture, home product and furniture for almost 20 years and uh, it's ranged from pieces that have, you know, furniture pieces that are you know, custom made to, you know, collect collections that have been for fashion designers and um, also for home product companies, working with fashion designer Tom Brown, uh, Lisa Perry, Ralph Rucci, and also for home brands like Love J. Um, and I've been functioning as the Love J's design director for the past almost eight years, doing all of their collections. Um, it's a little thumbnail for me. <laughs> Wonderful. And Marie, do you want to tell everyone a little bit about yourself? I, I'm very familiar with the Marie Dodge brand, but for those joining us today from around the world, if you can introduce us to, to your world. Yeah, Marie Dodge, it's uh, 30 years ago that I discovered the world of uh, porcelain. And uh, it's uh, since 30 years, uh, collections that we are creating every year, year after year, new collections, new colors. Uh, and the DNA of Maridage is that all the collections are completely hand-painted, uh, freehand uh, designs. And today we have a palette of, uh, as you can see here, 68 colors. So all our collections can be tailor-made, bespoke in all these collections. So the um, target is to have for the table like a garde-robe. So we call us like the haute couture for the table. We, I would like that to, to, to have a new way of thinking about dressing a table and enjoying the fact that you can play with uh, the art de la table. So it's a new, really new concept linked with the traditional way of hand painting porcelain. Yeah, I love that reference, calling it the haute couture of uh, tableware. It's a really nice way to, to explain it. Um, so yeah, just to give you a little bit of introduction on Beneluxix. So we are the sales agency, uh, the exclusive agency representing the new CL Blue collection. Um, and before we go a little bit into the details of the collection, um, Jonathan, I wanted to ask you, you know, why launch your own collection now? You've worked with so many amazing brands. So what really inspired you to do something finally underneath your, your own name? Well, it's been something that I've been, you know, thinking about for a while. And I think uh, when I was, I was working on another project in Paris and I was, I actually came to see Marie's work when I was walking through Printemps, the store, and, and she has this beautiful display there. And it just immediately caught my attention of like, this is exactly the kind of way to capture this idea that I have. Um, and at the time I was seeing this, these ceilings that were all hand painted with these beautiful clouds and image of the sky. And, it, and when I saw Marie's work, I, it just immediately kind of clicked like this was, this was the, the, you know, the right, person, the right brand, the right company to work with. And I was actually with a friend and we literally stopped in the store and, <clears throat> and he, he called, he found, he found the number while we were standing in front of the product and called her studio and she ha happened to be there. And we literally walked, it was like, I think it was like a 10 minute walk from Printemps to her studio. And we, we met and that, that very day and then started talking about this idea and and it, it was around another another project but it sort of evolved into this sort of bigger collection as we discuss it more and and I think especially during this last season it was really interesting like 
the, just the theme of blue skies and sort of the positive message, you know, especially during the season that we're in right now, just really struck a chord and seemed like like a real beautiful time to launch this this collection out into the world. Absolutely, and that that actually was going to lead me to my next question. I was going to say, how did you and Marie meet? So was it just lucky enough that you happened to stop by and she was there? And the, the stars were kind of- well, Yeah, well, the store, I was walking through the store and, and, it was, and I had had this idea in my mind and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to get it done. And like the, the moment I saw Marie's work, uh, it, just, it just immediately was like, this is exactly how this needs to be done on porcelain it's just it was it's her work is so uh, dreamy and and is so gestural and has this wonderful sort of the, all the, the with the color palette and the sort of the brushwork it, it really captures you know natural imagery in such a beautiful way amazing and so was it a long was it long time in the <clears throat> That this was in Paris maybe over a year ago. Did it take really long to develop the collection, or did it kind of happen quite quite quickly? Um, it's. I mean, it, I don't. What do you think, Marie? Did it take a long time? Um, yes. In fact, it was quite challenging because um, you know I, I I love to work on freehand, and I had already some um, partnership with some. I, I did a collection for Peter Marino, for instance, for Chanel, which was completely different. So. I quite like the challenge of uh, doing something which is completely different from my collections. And as we have this fantastic tool of the, of the handmade, hand-painted, we can go in a lot of different uh, directions. So it's very challenging. Blue Sky, um, it was not so easy. I really worked a lot with my, my painters. Not you know, each painter has his own way of um, tr uh, translating um, what he sees. And uh, it was quite a long work until we arrived to really find the real tool because when we, when we, when I create collections, very often I create some special tools to make them. You have the classical brush, but I will cut them sometimes or make them uh, getting older to, to have a specific way of using also the painting, not, not to dry. I mean, we try to make some experience. And for Ciel Bleu, I really had to make some new experience on how to use the, um, the colors, how to mix them. And um, Yes, finally, we, yes, we, we succeed in something. It has to be made in a very um, spontaneous way. Um, and especially the big pieces, like the big vase, are really a piece of art because it's very, very challenging to do this big uh, surface of paint, of whole painted with the sky. And it was, um, no, it was an interesting work because it was really, it's really a piece of art. <laughs> And I'm really proud of the result we got because you you feel this um, uh, the air you ha you can breathe when you see the, the, the piece. I have a friend who is now li who is living at the top of a building in Paris, which is quite rare in Paris because we are more Osman. And she told me, Mary, I have to have a vase like this because it's exactly the sky I'm uh. in front of my eyes in uh, in Paris in my flat. So I think, and as you say, Jonathan, we, with this time where we are all behind our, it's difficult to breathe, we need this, um, this sky, yeah. this respiration. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of people have been, been sending me messages of blue sky where they are, whether it's in- I'm guilty. You know, in or Fr France or, or California or places in New York. It's, it's like, it's really, I think, something it's made them like look up and see the sky and, and like marie says it's like it's like this breath of fresh air to and she the way that her artisans captured the sky and the clouds it, it is so spontaneous and gestural in a way that i mean ca i mean clouds painting clouds could be if it wasn't done right could be you know really kind of hallmark cardi and it's it's not and it's it has this beautiful you know impressionistic 
um, gestural sort of quality to it that I think is very yeah. difficult to, to achieve. And, and, her, and she really did it with the co combination of colors and the, you know, the way that we worked on the composition of the clouds and the, all those things sort of came together in a, in a really wonderful way. What I like, what we, at least we did, is that we keep the whiteness of the porcelain because you know Limoges, it's really very well known because of the white, because of these cowlands, this um, uh, the special uh, claims that you have in the porcelain. And so, with the techniques that we use, you can still have the white, this beautiful white of the of the porcelain of Limoges. So this was, I think, a big part of the is this impression of uh, lightness that you can have when you look at the collection. So yeah. I was, yeah, I think it was a good way to do it, to express it. <laughs> so yeah, I love that. 